So the first question is, how can I recognize my triggers? Uh, someone asked, is the ABC antecedent behavior consequence format useful? I believe that the best way that you can um, uh, recognize your tr triggers is connecting the triggers to a physiological response in your body. And we all have this. So take a minute and think about it. Does your stomach, do you get a little knot in your stomach? Does your, your do you get a little tightness in your chest? Are you, are you gripping your jaw? Maybe you're, you're perspiring a little bit. So we want to start to recognize that there's a physiological change first and foremost, because that is the sign that something is off. That is the sign that we need to pay attention, that we are moving into a, you know, there's a disturbance somewhere in our field that could then lead us to not just activation, but being on high alert. So we want to uh, recognize when we're, 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 we're activated, when we're triggered, and that we might need something to do to slow, our, slow the process down. I personally can't, don't like being told to calm down. Um, someone asked, what do you say instead of calm down is the next question, right? So what we want to do is we have to slow down. We need to slow the reactivity. So what's going to help you slow down? Or let's take a minute and call and call pause here. You're, you're kind of revving up. And we, you know, I'd really would appreciate it as your partner if we could just slow it down a little bit. Because people can understand slowing down or settling a bit. But calming, when you tell someone who's your partner to calm down, there's a power dynamic that's implied. I, partner, am calm and have everything under control and you, person with ADHD, are whacked. And that is not going to bode well for a productive conversation or working together or, or being able to um, act as a team.